What's up, beautiful guitar people out there? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in. You want to learn the song that you just heard? Well, stick to the video then. This song is actually a part of this beautiful album, which is called Johnny Fontaine and the Rivals. Let me tell you uh, the best part about it. The legendary Vinnie Moore played the lead part on this song. Um, you can go stream, you can go download the, the album anywhere. You can also win it right here and you can win an exclusive, uh, you know, uh, edition. They're all signed by Winnie Moore. So if you leave a beautiful comment down there and tell me why you should be the one to get one, then I will see and choose uh, within the next like a few weeks or months and then see who is going to get these three CDs. So enough talking. Let's jump right into this song and learn the whole thing right now. Well, you guys all ready with your guitars? Then let's chop it down. Now, let me play the intro for you and then dig that one right away. Here we go. <laughs> That was it, the intro, really simple. We have a trill on the second fret of the D string. So use your index finger or your or ring finger or middle finger, the one that you usually do the trills. I use my middle finger, it's the strongest one in this case. So um, once you have the trill, you just wait for the drum fill and then on the one you play the open E. And then the first chord comes. So we are actually in the E minor blues, E minor 7. So we play the E minor chord, which is here based on the 7th fret. You bar your index finger over the uh, first 5 uh, strings. So A, D, G, B and E. And you put your ring finger on the 9th fret of the D and your middle finger on the 8th fret of the B string. And once you just, you know, remove those two fingers, you get this sound. You pretty much get a B minor chord over E. This is E minor 7. This is B minor 7. But we keep the low E as our bass note. So the whole thing again. to uh, continue the riff we actually hammer on the two um, the two notes again and play the bass again so the whole thing tricky parts about it is like to mute and to I uh, damp the low E string for the bass note sorry and then I hammer on I just you know pick like the first I just pick like the high E B in the G string Just uh, practice this whole thing a little bit and uh, then you're good to go. Uh, let's uh, start off with the uh, major verse then. we have here a really beautiful uh, you know like introduction line it kind of reminds me or maybe I've actually stolen a little bit from uh, Alana Miles you know the Black Wallet song <laughs> 
It's a shuffle there, right? This one. So I took the first part of it. This is beautiful. So you actually uh, have your index finger on the second fret of the G string. You slide it up to the fourth fret. And you grab the E right here with your middle finger on the uh, fifth fret of the B string. And then you just simply do the bass, your E minor 7 chord going down to the B minor. You do that twice and then you can actually grab your 12th fret here, the two strings, the high E and B string. Just kind of a muted one. And then the upstroke, the slide down. Let me see if I can play it. Uh, it already. Then after we have the uh, f uh, the one chord played, we uh, slide into we slide into the four chord, which is in this case, in our case, is an A minor seven chord. I play this one exactly the same as the E minor seven, but with the open string uh, chord right here. So it's like open A, middle finger on the second fret of the D string. Open G, the C right here with the first finger on the first fret of the B string. And then what I do here is to just play this beautiful fill. I actually add the G right here with my pinky on the third fret of the G string, uh, the E string. And then I just substitute it with my ring finger. So that's now the A section. Let me just play the whole thing until here if I can do it. That will be it. So, uh, you heard after the, you know, uh, playing the four chord. Back to one. Here we have a beautiful C9 chord. Uh, this is a really, really simple shape. You put your uh, middle finger on the second fret, uh, third fret of the A string. You damp the D string, then you play the G string open, and you have your ring finger on your third fret of the B string, and the pinky on the third fret of the high E string. And you should get something like this, and then. play a B7 chord and leave the B and high E string open. Something like a C7 sus4 chord because we have the high E ringing out there. So the whole thing at the end is the C chord. And to finally start into the progression again. Then you do the do you finish the Elena Miles <laughs> kind of like right here. So let me play the whole thing again and see if I can do it. The intro. 
for today hope you liked it if you did please subscribe and like and uh, don't forget to leave your comment down there why you should get one of these signature cds see you next time bye bye cheers